Yeah, how are you? <laughs> Dude, every, every week I get you doing something. <laughs> You always catch me at a, you know, it's like usually you start at like two o'clock, like on the dot and I'm like, all right, it's two Oh three. I got time to take this drink and then we'll start. And then it's like right in the middle of everything I ever do. You're like, Hey, you ready? I'm like, damn, you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, you know, I swear to God, bro. I have to trim some of this zoom, man. I'm sorry, Faye. I'm trimming a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> Fucking 418, bro. I got 398. Hold on one sec. Let me trim some of this shit. Yep. Fill that shit, son. Yep. All right, cool. Had to lock in an easy 500 bucks, man. I trimmed a little. Sorry, sorry. I had to trim just a, just a hair. All right. Where are we in questions? If you guys have questions reach out to us now. This is your chance to ask anything, guys. Literally anything. Who has questions for MIC? Do you have questions Hang for on. us? Bro. Y'all don't chew ice in New Jersey? What's that? Alex is like chewing ice only in tech. Y'all don't chew ice in Jersey? Y'all don't, people don't chew ice there? Dude, <laughs> I've been like, like the, my, uh, I'm like, dude, Bro, dude, it, it, Ice Cube's getting some serious backlash in the media these days, man. He liked back Trump because Trump was willing to work with him. And then, you know, oh, man, like people are hating him right now. Oh, kind of crazy. bro, I didn't even pay attention to the, who the celebrities supported. I was like, I'm just going to cast my vote based on who I think is best. And let's move on. Yeah, for real. I hear you. It's not like my vote counts anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> apparently not in the dominion voting machine <laughs> holy shit dude uh, Bow's got, the funny thing about bow man is if you guys like ever hang out 20 seconds with him he's like arguably the funniest person that's ever walked this god's green earth but the thing is the thing that's the best about him is he's like he's as quick as a freaking dude he's as quick as a freaking cat man like i don't understand it dude like anytime you say something He's literally got something to say about it. And it's like one of the funniest things you've ever heard, or he's got a meme to pull up or a photo. Bao is the most on point person with humor. If you think his trading is good. Yeah. Dude, dude I, think, I think everyone that has a TOS account just thought we all filled something out of nowhere. Like, cause when you filled that ZM order. Oh, when I trim some zoom? <laughs> yeah, it goes and I was like, God, oh, fuck, did I forget to order everybody, somewhere? Everybody's <laughs> looking at their screens for us. Yes, dude, I did. I literally is. checked. I was like, well, oh, no, it's fine. Dude, dude, it's so funny. So, like, I keep an investing account or and, like, like a hybrid, like, day trading investing account for, like, things like this. And ever since they went, like, free commissions or something, if I'm just throwing, like, a little, like, investment scalp, I'll just do it in fucking TD. But if you're doing small caps, there is no substitute for Cobra trading, dude. There's like, if you're in and out of like DNK and things like this, where you need shares to get guys, you're not trading with TD Ameritrade. This is only, and maybe not even then sometimes, this is like, if you go long. And the only reason why I still have TD is I'm obsessed with their mobile app. I can see charts as clear as day and I've been using it for seven years. So it's so hard to, yeah, I know. Up. like I keep some money in there now just for fun, man. Like that was a fun little like hybrid scalp there today. So I was like, fuck it. Yep. So, um, Val asked a question with ZM on the big cap watch list today. No, it what go to the watch list channel. Yeah, let, let's yeah, show let's everybody what, show. what this is. We'll let's give everybody a preview. I give out a watch list for large caps. So if you're new to large caps and you're not uh, kind of up to date on, you know, what to watch, what to look for, stuff like that, there's a watch list every day. So, um, or most of the days, I'm not going to say every day. I put out a watch list when there's something worth watching okay uh not every day that we don't need to trade every day we don't need to do these it's things all. every day we don't need to find a play every day uh we're not a bunch of crack addicts and <laughs> well 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 let's not go that far <laughs> <laughs> um so today throw up pltr and nio one sec buddy Those let me two actually day blow trades these. for today let, let me blow these up for you okay well, hold on one sec okay which ones pltr pltr and nio yep cool let's see what you're talking about so 
if you draw PLTR 1750 line. One sec. 1750. Hopefully you guys can see why Joe is even drawing this line. Like I don't, dude, I look at this for one second and know why he's drawing this line. There's another reason too. You just don't have them loaded, but yeah. So um, next line, 1850 on PLTR. And I just want to walk you guys through this really fast. It's not, this is not a complicated process, but we made, I made two plans during pre-market for this. I said 1750 and then 1650. 1750 is the first line. So I'm going to use less size, but I'm going to take the trade. I'm going to use less size there because the odds are lower at 1750 than they are at 1650. The better bounce is at 1650, but you can still take a decent trade off of 1750. These are long trades, not short trades. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make that locate. very clear. Don't even need the locates, fam. Don't even need them. Don't even need PLTR, them. PLTR, long, long off 1750, and then boom, bottom tick. And then if you miss that trade, if you miss that trade, um, range, uh, wanna, we want to see a type of continuation, but range is forming at 1850 now. That I was saying this during pre-market. So if we form a range at the open and uh, we get a break of that range, I'll long a break for the continuation higher. You look at the break over 1850, screams all the way to nearly 1950. If you longed 1750 and sold along the way, I mean, it's just, I, it doesn't get better than that right there. And if you sit back and you wait all day, NIO, this is looking more and more like a short 45 potential support at the moment. 45 is a support level. Okay. So in the morning, that means I'm, I'm not interested in shorting it unless we have a push to 47. Where did we top out? Right around there, brother. 4670. Yep. If all we had to drew all, all we had long. to do was draw our levels. All we had to do is draw our levels and play from there. And if you look at NIO, <laughs> you would have started around 4650 and scaled to 47 because 46 and Tosh doesn't have this, but 4650 is the previous closing price. So it was gonna to try to go red green right there. So you had two potential resistances. And so it, it's, dude, it, it doesn't get, it doesn't get more simple. It doesn't get more simple. All you gotta do is follow these levels. And if you're a small cap trader, all you gotta do is follow Alex's watch list levels and then trade the way that we teach you to trade. It's like, it's literally, I, I don't know why so many people are, are still, struggling traders but all you got to do is follow alex's list follow the large cap list if you're not into if you're not into that um it it's there's there's a room for it for everyone there's there's something for at somebody everywhere right right so i you just said it man you said best i could you got more than luck <laughs> dude that was the best character in high school man Damn, Any I questions? sold nice shit. Oh shit. Damn, how do you look up fills on TD? I forgot. Hold on, filled <laughs> 417.58. Not bad. Dude, right on the lines, baby. Right on the lines. Bow post of the lines. The whole point, guys, is you what have happened? I'm not <laughs> you son I've got, of I I've got a Tesla on the screen. Dude, I'm pissed. Look what Faye just said. I just said I sold at 41758. She freaking sold at 41833. Dude, she one-ups me every time. So here's we have a running joke. We oh, both yeah. we both got in a Zoom. We've been playing Zoom, dude, for like a week because we've been tab partners, right? And literally, we have been playing Zoom for a week in another account. Um, Faye and I are long zoom and I have a 371 average and I thought I beasted on her. I was like, Faye, I got a 371. She was like, bitch, I got a three, I got a 370. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, she, every time, every time, man, she beats me by like a morsel, like a molecule of trading. That's of well, course, you know, Dr. Faye, dude, of course. That's what Asians do to us white folk. Dude, man, the, the Asians run the world, bro. I'm telling you. They just one up us. They just, they just want up. Whatever white man can do, I can do better. Something wrong. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Anything that you're good at, just know there's an Asian out there doing it better than you. Doing it better. <laughs> doing it better. Yep. Son of a bitch. Fate destroyed my exits. 
Guys, questions, questions. Do you have questions about lines? Do you have questions about what it means to be an MIC member, even though we kind of just gave you an hour description on that? Do you have questions about the signing up process? Do you have questions about this is your time to shine, man? Hit us. YouTube as well. Every, anybody and everybody on YouTube, you have, you have the opportunity to ask questions there. Put it in the chat. And don't be shy. Don't, if, if you're a member, seriously, don't be shy. But if you're not a member, we're not going to judge you on whatever your questions are. There's no dumb question. We remember what it was like to be new, man. We remember. So we're here to guide you, man. No matter how quote unquote stupid you think your question is, ask it. Yeah, so right now, guys, we're coming into the last hour of the day. This is called trash hour, power hour, whatever you want to call it. I call it the shorts lose their edge hour because this is not the hour where you want to be opening a short position, especially something that's strong like this. If this was a small cap, if this was a big cap, this is not the time you want to be shorting. What? Yeah, because you do and then wake up to a freaking gap up tomorrow and then you're cursing yourself and like, holy shit. What did we have on the old small cap plays today? Uh, what did we have? We had, uh, shit, I just tore them apart. We had SCK. Oh, we had a DNK and SCKT, Here, I let's, guess, let's right? Let's go through them. Let's go through them. Joe, dude, what do we talk about every single week, bro? What do we talk about in the open? Tell me. Ah, oh, where is it versus VWAP? And where where did it reject? Yep. Yep, dude. It's like, are you kidding me? Then we had DNK. Check this out. Bro. People wanted to short this pre-market, correct? So when people wanted to short this pre-market, okay, uh, here's a lesson for you guys, a really quick lesson. I'm not going to go into it because it's a free webinar, but let me show you this. If you are just looking at this pre-market, hey, yeah, you know, it's breaking down a little bit. Maybe I'll short near previous resistance. No, 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 no. Slap you on the wrist. You need to know that it ran gapped up and is total front side with no stuck shorts for two days. So this is a day two gap up 50, 50 on VWAP. What, who's in control? No one fucking knows. Dude, exactly right. Right. So you have to wait for outer lines. So here's the thing, but not only outer lines, man, because this is a multi-day runner and because it had the strength on it, because there were no stuck shorts. I mean, um, dude, all the longs are in control. That's what I'm saying. There's no stuck longs by the open. When you have something like this, what was I screaming at people in chat all day? I said, wait for death candles. Wait for these massive stuff moves, man. Wait for these candles. You can't tear apart this on the short side, on the front side. You're crazy, dude. And if you are yep. not an MIC member and you found yourself losing on the short side of this today, you need a membership now. You need, a me you need to text my phone now at 213-458-5997. <laughs> <laughs> So for any of you who lost in the immediate morning or maybe any point today on the short side of DNK, I am here to tell you, please bite your ego, throw it in the trash and realize you need coaching and you need mentoring because you are gambling. That's what I'm saying. While Bao shows us how it's all done during reversal hour, in which case he was shorting this line, if you remember about an hour ago, he was shorting this right here because, and I'm not going to give too much away, that is an actual exact example of structure and process that we do in, in MIC based on what's called time-based trading. And here we go. Uh, yep, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time wraps up to, uh, uh, jams up to previous resistance, much overhead previous resistance into whole and half dollar number. You get the tank, you get the scalp, and badoosh gadoosh. That's what you mean. Can't be any more clear, man. What else did we have? What else did we have? So we had uh, we had Mara today, Joe. We had um, Riot. The only reason oh, why the I don't old really Bitcoin like, stuff. Yeah, and the only reason why I don't like talking about this stuff is because they follow BTC, and there's so many cult Dang. players from Bi like Bitcoin and stuff that this just I don't know, man. It's 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 like a sector play. There's so many factors. It's not as simple as line to line, even though that's the way you can technically play it if you have risk in mind. But with something like this, that's such an unbelievably cult following stock. It's not my thing. It's just not my thing. So I don't trade these. Yeah. Bro, what did, what did you, uh, what, did, what were you surprised at by this market right now? Like how, Joe, how are you feeling oh, about the big cap market? Zoom new high of the day. Faye, your cells suck. Ha, ah, Faye, you suck. <laughs> that means I really suck. <laughs> Ha ha, Faye. 
No, we're still holding on from a 370 and 371 average. <laughs> Bro, we've got like three different accounts with Zoom in it. <laughs> Holy shit. Joe, what do you what do you what think? What are you saying? Market? Bro, what do you think about this overall market, man? It's such in a range and channel, isn't it? Like QQQ every single day is just playing ping pong. The overall spy, bro, it's just like, look at this, like chop city. Yeah, listen to Faye. She found shares in the IRA. <laughs> of course she did. Faye probably found out how to log into my step IRA and then logged it and then transferred it to hers. Dude. I always give Faye crap because I'll say something. I'll be like, yeah, I like this. And she's like, yeah, I'm long from 20 and I'm at like 30 trying to start an entry. And I'm like, oh, thanks for the heads up. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe put it on my watch, you know, be like, you know, hey, good looking out, you know, but, you know, and then she's just like, oh yeah, I've been long since 20. And I'm like, uh, okay. All right. Dude, that's if I because, was nicer yeah. to you, bro, that's because every time you try to holler, man, you have to remind her that you have a faithful wife. If you would just give in to temptation, she might give you stock picks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you, again, again, I can't say this enough. As Alex just said, if you have any freaking questions that is MIC getting signed up, talking to me directly, not a robot. If you want to get on the phone, text thread, everything, just text me or, okay. And here's another question. If you guys don't have the opportunity to text me, you can also DM my Instagram at, oh shit, what's my handle? <laughs> T Bradley 90 underscore trader. And uh, I'll, I'll hit you there. You can, you can, dude, I'm telling you, man, there's a million ways to get a hold of me. There's no excuse. If you guys need any help signing up, knowing about anything, freaking drop a line, bro. Drop a line. If Zoom hits 425 today, I'm, I'm jumping off a bridge. You go play in traffic, right? No, so, um, I'm fine. Market related, I honestly, all I see is is we're just we're consolidating now above all time highs prior to last Monday. You know, like true all time highs. Um, we could see further continuation later in the week or next week, but you know, I'm just taking it day by day. Honestly, the fact that stocks are strong while the market sells off means to me, like if the market picks up strength, the upside on these stocks is going to be even greater. So um, I'm fine with it. Um, I'm okay with it. Uh, Tony asks, um, do you ever use Fibonacci retracements? Small oh, caps, no, no. Uh, they're useless in small caps. Um, they just clog up your screen. Bro, they're large ugly. caps. Yeah. Like here, I'll even I'll even do it for you. They're ugly as shit, man. Where are they again? There is this one. The percent sign up this, to. Wait, where the, no. oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, there's, yeah. So like, if you were to draw like what from the top right here or something yeah. to, you really want this shit on your screens, dude? Like, it's, how's well, this what it 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 doesn't tell you where it's going to potentially bounce what tells you where it's going to potentially bounce is the lines that we teach just the analysis that we teach all that fibonacci tells you is like is it still bullish or is it a bearish is it bearish within a, and it's so it doesn't do any good in my opinion uh it just it just it, it, it just, uh, it clogs things up for me i i've just found it easier to be able to just draw lines based on physical support and resistance. And I've had the best entries of my life ever. <laughs> Pal goes, a fib means a lie in English. <laughs> uh, Zoom at 422, son of a bitch. Dude, here's the thing. Going back to- going back just to, freaking hold, man. I said that earlier and y'all no, are all I, like, I'm I a have sale, some, I'm bro, a sale. I, I got some, I got a lot left. I'm, I had to trim though. You gotta pay yourself, man. You gotta pay yourself something. So. Listen to this, guys. In the Accelerator Bootcamp course, right? In the Jumpstart Accelerator, which is basically a bootcamp in its own right. But in the Accelerator course, Joe, how many times do you talk about Fib Tracers and Bollinger Bands and RSI and all that stuff? Uh, none. How much do you talk about VWAP and lines and support and resistance? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that the guy? Is that the actor from... Um, uh, What's that HBO series where everybody's a robot? I think it's Roland's brother from Shit's Creek. 
Oh my God, dude. Yes. <laughs> dude, I just, I just finished season six, bro. Thank you for turning me on to one of the best shows. that is Westworld. That's it. Sister. Dude, that is a good, it was a great series, wasn't it? It, it was the best, dude. I, I'm like, I'm like really depressed that it's over. Well, they actually teased like they would consider bringing it back. So <clears throat> better. Yeah, Tony, I'm not saying that some people have not found edge in it. Um, but I'm not going to tell people to use Fibonacci in order to better their trading. Um, the best process is learning the MIC process of analysis of a daily chart. Well, let's say it like this, and, Joe. Say it like this, right? Say it like this. If you ask a thousand MIC traders, and we've got them, if you ask a thousand yep. MIC traders, ask how many use fibs and ask how many use just support and resistance lines that we teach. Ask. One percent, I bet, use fibs, and one percent of the one percent use it successfully use it to, i was just gonna say actually make money because of what they like and yeah fit. exactly exactly yeah maybe maybe 150 people out of 1600 use fibonacci and maybe four or five out of that entire bunch use it successfully bro, my bro, mom always I, said i was special joe dude all, <laughs> all cards on the table man when i was a brand new trader bro every single year for like the first two and a half, three years, I'd say. So probably like every, honestly, every six months, I would find some new revolutionary shit that I was like, dude, I just reinvented the wheel of trading. I'm a master of RSI. Oh, okay. That didn't work. I'm a master of the SMA six and 15. Oh, that didn't yep. work. Okay. Now I'm a master on et cetera, et cetera. Dude, <laughs> if you think like for anyone listening out here, I don't care if it's one person who needs to hear this. If you think you just figured out the Holy grail with an indicator, you just wait, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah. Now I will say this regarding RSI, it works very well in an oversold situation in the major market like the SPX. If the SPY ever goes oversold, freaking long it with everything you own. I couldn't agree more on Joe on that. It is so that's rare. More like an investing strategy, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Like if you just long, statistically, and this has been proven, if you just longed the SPY when it was oversold, you would have bought the bottom in eight out of 10 corrections. Crazy, right? But here's the thing that's so funny about that. Dude, the SPY is so easy to read. I don't think you need RSI to know when it's oversold. <laughs> if SPY goes to 300, right, I'm in yeah. the house. <laughs> but it works really well. Let's say you have a really good uptrend and it goes oversold and you're above the 200-day moving average because everybody defines trend in large caps with the 200-day moving average. If it's over the 200 and it goes oversold, I mean, you're in a strong uptrend and it's oversold. Oh, sweet Jesus, come to me. I mean, that's a, it's a great long opportunity. I feel you, bro. It does not happen you. often though. Might Look happen about. once a year, twice a year. It yeah, happened gonna, a lot in 2020, but you know, this is extremely volatile year. I'm going to draw it again, man. I'm going to draw it again because you guys need to see it over and over again. Look at the line, the bow shorts, right? So the line that he's scaling is 60. He's got some 57 prints. He's got some 47, 37. This is called scaling. 37, 47, 57. I know Bao, he's probably willing to scale up to maybe 470 because that's where the line with the tops and the wicks are. Dude, where does this stock keep bouncing up? This is resistance. If you guys think of like resistance and support as like a ceiling or a floor, where does this keep having trouble? Like if you're jumping on a bed in an apartment building and you keep slamming your head, slamming your head, slamming your head, slamming your head, when this gets back up there and a long journey to do so, where do you think that this is going to go? Like, dude, this is, while everyone's focused on Zoom, he's like, dude, I'm just killing DNK while everybody talks about Zoom. But the whole point is, guys, there's a trade in here. You see what I'm saying? There's a trade right here. So great job, Bao. Every single day, man, he's showing us live examples of what it works. This is all MIC process, man. And because, look, just because we're not in the hour, um, you know, the last hour of the day is not technically designed for shorts. Go smaller. Bow, Bow's going way smaller than he is in the first hour where he has all of the edge or reversal hour where he has a really good edge. I know Bow. He's probably shorting uh, at least probably just one third is, you know, normal size. But dude, these scalps add up because they're predictable. They work. <laughs> he goes, how the fuck do you use fibs for this? <laughs> Bro, that's so funny.
Yeah, how do you use fibs for this, man? I, I wouldn't even know. I uh, maybe put 100% right here and 0% <laughs> right here and shorten the 50% line to the 75. I don't even fucking know, dude. You want that on your charts? It's hideous. How do you know which line to short? Just short them all from the bottom short, to the top. Dude. Just short until you go all the way to the top. Just 23.6, 38.2, 50%, 61.8, 78.0. Just short all of them. Here's your new Just strategy. short them all. Eventually, it'll work. Here's your new strategy. All these lines are support. When it gets down here, just long these lines. No, or or you could short way. or you could short at 928 market time every day <laughs> on anything that gaps. Never think about risk. Let it rip your lip off at the open and then cover for 20 cents six hours later. God, now you're talking, baby. Now I'm talking, man. Oh my God. That God if, you, oh. if you want, if you want an it's adrenaline rush, go yes. a toaster in a, in a full bathtub, that's your, that's your move right there, baby. Holy shit. Now I've tried fib retracement and this is the only time I would use it. So you short the top and then, and then where to cover, you draw the fib lines down, but man, so complicated for a guy with one K account. Honestly, dude, for real. And Val's being serious, dude. Val's being extremely serious right now. Yeah. So, you know, guys, there's a misconception that like, oh, I can't. We've join talked about this theory for the death line. Um, well, yeah, because you need to see how much percentage is coming down. But, it, dude, once you become proper. It, it's not a Fibonacci sequence, though. I, I mean, yeah, I was you just going to say, all you need to do is eyeball it and see how much percentage Half of the range is not Fibonacci. It's just half of the range. Exactly. These guys can barely do algebra. Dude, I know some furus that can't add six plus six. Nah. Uh, let's see here. Any other questions, folks? Guys, questions. Hit us, hit us, hit us. Now, Zoom, go back to 400 so I can relong you. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. <laughs> Faye, I want 350. All right, Faye, I see your 350. I want 348. Damn, Tesla, 500. Look at this, bro. Look at this. <clears throat> Joe, look at this. Oh, my God. I've got a 402 yeah. Tesla. I've got a 402. I'm never selling it. I'm, dude, I'm in right here. <laughs> that sounds so furu and so huru. I'm in right here, guys. Didn't you see my buy signal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was that was legitimately just honestly a lucky play, man. I thought Tesla was oversold, and then we got the S and P five hundred ad, and it's just uh, it's just a SEP account that I, I'll just never sell, man. Honestly, but I, I literally do have Tesla at four hundred two. <laughs> Tesla Q and CFQ. <laughs> oh shit! Now don't rain on our parade, bro. You know how crazy it is the Tesla Ford split and went to 420 again that that is insane man even Faye sent me like an article today on like what they're planning on with tesla and all that dude this thing did a stock split and then is still up this like that's cr after the split like that's insane this thing is truly going yeah to it literally split and now even <laughs> even now it's it's a higher price than what the tesla q crew has thought it would ever be at for the longest bro, I, time. And you got all these huge banks upgrading this company. Bro, I was just going to say, I was just going to say, Joe, that it, now it's trading like they need to split again. <laughs> Dude, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Dude, I just want Amazon to split. Oh, man, I hope so. I've got some Amazon right now. I hope so. Now on S&P 500, so every fund has to buy it. Yep, dude, this is probably just the beginning. Of course, this is never investment advice or anything like that. Um, this is nothing like that. But yeah, dude, this truly, don't underestimate this shit, man. This could, this could truly be the beginning for Amazon, or I mean Tesla, seriously. They just got added to the S&P 500, man. And also, for those who don't know, that is a limited quantity of the 500 quantity. Somebody's got to get kicked out of the S&P 500 now. Someone got to go. So Tesla can take that spot. Someone got to go. Get Facebook out of there. Get fa Facebook, what? Oh, yeah, get Facebook out, out of there. the 500. Get Facebook out of the 500. Fuck Dude, off, Facebook. Fuck Facebook. I'll never long this stock in history. I never have. I never will. I hate this stock. It's the stupidest stock ever. <laughs> we, make, we make bow money every single webinar. 
No, you're welcome. You have my Venmo, and I'll expect it later. I need some new skinny jeans and a uh, and a smoothie. Facial book. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't click that link, folks. Do not look it up. Hot horny milfs in my area. Oh, where? On facial book. Guys, who has questions? Trading questions. This is your time. Or you can always text me. You can always text me or DM me. Does everybody see though that this is not just community for small caps? Like, are we making this clear to you that literally we trade small caps, we trade big caps, we trade options, and we have mentors and moderators in either room here to discuss? We dude, we even do borderline investing for the for the for God's sakes. Like Faye is like borderline investor at this point. There's different psychologies for these things. You gotta understand what a different animal big caps is than small caps and why nail and bail means something a little bit different across the niches. Like there's, <laughs> yeah, Faye will be filling out uh, form four soon, definitely. She's gotta disclose how big her positions are. Yeah, when you're a deep bag holder, you're an investor. I love that. That's so funny. Someone pinned that. That is so funny. Invest in MIC, man. But let's go back to investing. What is investing, right? Invest in your education, man. Seriously. There's only so much time in the day. There's only so many hours that you can devote to process, to education, to anything if you guys aren't at the right place. So I get a lot of times, I get a lot of questions of, hey, Tosh, you ever hear about chat room XYZ? What do you think of that? Dude, what do you think my opinion is going to be about? I got a text today where a guy goes, yeah, I'm going to hold off, man. I've been, uh, I've been thinking about joining XYZ chat room. What do you think of them? I'm like, oh my God, dude. I don't even think legally I can say to you, <laughs> unless we're in a private room, but I'm not going to trash anybody. And I don't sure, trash I believe anybody. that's a conflict of interest. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you do realize, like, what do, you, what do you mean? What do I think of this other chat room that I know publicly scams people? Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Ah, uh, man, it's just, it's just, dude, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, man. It's like when a girl comes to you and asks, what do you think of her other guy friend? You're like, yeah, dude, my best friend. He's a good looking guy. You should date him, even though I'm trying to date you. Ultimate friend zone. Hey, Brian, what do you think of Jason? Oh, fuck. <laughs> dude, Faye comes to me all the time. He's like, what do, think, what do you think of Joe? And I'm like, well, he's a good dude. <laughs> hey, he's a good guy. He's kind of cool. He's fine. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. That is too funny, bro. In as Tay would say, invest for the will. Oh, hey, spy, we got some weakness, bro. See, this is the shit. This is that this is that shit, dude. We got some ping pong going on. I'll bet you this reclaims and gaps up tomorrow because it's like stuck in this like this 50 to 65 channel. People roll their eyes at me when they get educated about training and join MIC. Too much, 200 a month is too much to learn from a trader who has detailed exactly how you too, if you do exactly what he does, makes a mil point to a year and probably more because technically we're in November and Alex has two more months to basically turn that into probably 1.4, knock on wood and crossing fingers for Alex. We don't jinx here at MIC, knock on wood. But the point is guys, is you have people who are committed to the evolution of you as a trader. They go out of their way to show you exactly how they do it. And if you think $200 is too much, and here's, here's another thing, here's a perspective. If you're paying for a scanner, right? If you're paying, what, $100 a month for a scanner, even just $75 a month, you do realize that we bow post a scanner all day, every day in MIC chat, right? Like you can, here, I'll scroll through, literally. Like Bao is always posting his scanner for you guys to know and other members in the chat each morning. So you guys don't have to have a scanner. Why would you waste money on that? So if we scroll all the way to the beginning of the day and dude, a scanner is God, the most unnecessary. Joe, how do we even explain it, dude? How unnecessary is a scanner? Seriously. All you need is like a, it's like a DOS high of day watch list. That's it, dude. Like it does it for you or we do it. Yeah, or you've got Think or Swim that is free. Well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, why are people wasting their money, man? And the, so the money that you're going to save between a scanner and the money that you're... All right, fine. I can't go through all these comments, but Val posted every single day, man. It's up there. So the whole point is if you're going to save money on not getting a scanner and also by joining one of our direct market access brokers, like something like Cobra, right? 
the 25% off commission structure, if you're trading all day, every single day, or even just every day, even a little bit, do the money you're going to save is going to pay for your MIC membership. Does that make sense to you? Like, are you guys like calculating the money? We designed it this way to help the average guy. Mara. Wow, dude, look at that bleed. Jesus. Let's see what Riot will just probably look the ex identical. Yep, yep, yep. F cell. F cell was doing some serious tank today, wasn't it? Oh no, I mean some serious ripping. Like, dude, this was ripping faces off. I remember people thought it was done, then come zombie hour, dude. This thing was a moonshot. Now nah, it's too late in the day, Bow. Cutting you off. I'm cutting you off as a tab partner, bro. No more trading. <laughs> you have literally 21 minutes, man. Joe, what else is going on, brother? What else? What else is new in in uh, in Texas, man? Nothing in Texas, bro. <laughs> There's nothing. I feel like I feel like the only geographical location right now that has updates every 20 minutes is where Bowsette and Cali, and we're just like, dude, how are they fucking you guys over even more? Like, now give us updates, dude. What's going on, man? Because <laughs> every 20 minutes, someone's got their head up their ass. Apparently, now for freaking Thanksgiving, you can't have more than 10 of your like family members over for Thanksgiving or something like that. I saw Bell post. That. I was like, dude, what the hell? Why are they going to keep track of that? How, they can't, dude. They can't. So my question becomes, are they going to take all of these additional like police officers and, and have them patrol the town, like looking for these like houses with a lot of cars parked up front or something? Or are they going to take those people away from their families? I mean, think about how that's going to roll over. Uh, I mean, that's just... Not, man. They defunded the police. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid shit. Jesus. Don't get me started. Joe is a bellhop in an elevator with Faye. <laughs> Actually, it's more like Faye in an elevator with Joe. <laughs> oh, shit. No, you know what this really is? This is Joe in an elevator with his wife when his wife says at the boot camp, wait, Faye's here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, we have too much fun, man. Need to call my mommy and tell her MIC made fun of Fibonacci question. Have a great night. Thanks for that. <laughs> Later, Tony. <laughs> Later, Tony. Thanks for coming, bro. Has <laughs> Faye seen Joe's real photo? <laughs> Holy shit. Not the catfish one. Not the real estate catfish one. California governor went to party violated virus. Newsom probably threw like oh, a big God. old sponsor in his $8 million house while he shuts down everybody's hopes and dreams. Small golf clap for Governor Newsom. Guys, this was fun, man. Does anybody have any more questions? before we do wrap this up, because look, we gave you guys a ton of information today. But if you think you got any value today, dude, wait until you become an MIC member, wait until you have exclusive to exclusive webinars, past footage of boot camps where Bow and Alex trade live, dude, live commentary over a microphone with screen records. You have access to trader calls with me, you know, Faye, the moderators, we can break down charts. Like if you guys want that one-on-one -on -one experience, if you guys want the collective experience through DMs, through chat, through sub channels, everything that you guys are going to need. I mean, dude, like I said, if you got any value out of this webinar, you have no idea, man. You have no idea. Just, you got to take the leap of faith, man. You got to become a member. And, and I'll say it one last time for the guys that probably came in a little bit late. We got some big plans for Black Friday, guys. We're doing a serious promotion that you're going to want to turn it, tune into. A little bit different than anything we've ever done. Uh, I'm not going to go, whoa, f -cell just tanked. <laughs> Bow wanted that. Don't look, Bow. Uh, I know you guys are probably going to ask me now. Just don't. Just, just wait until next week. We will get you all the information. Just know we're working on something. And, uh, yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> Oh shit, 416. Come on, baby. Go back to four. Go back to 400 and we're getting back in, Faye. We're, get, we're adding back our cells. Joe, last, any YouTube questions to wrap this up? Nothing on YouTube. Nothing on YouTube? All right, guys. What are the well, changes you would do to trade the MIC process on large caps? Nothing. Dude, nothing. So I'll just give an example. Pivot points work better on large cap than they do even small caps. And we use them to a T on small caps. Bro, they work even better. So 
you know, whatever. <laughs> everything works, man. If you're a big cap trader or a small cap trader, it works. Here, I'll show you guys what pivots look like. One sec. Uh, where do we where study style? Bow pivots and zombie. Dude, Oop, hold on. I zoomed out too much. See that? You scale these pivot lines, man. Could have scaled that, covered. Could have scaled that and covered back down. I'm telling you, pivots work, but we are not going to show that too much. You got to join. You got to join. That won't let me. <laughs> I give away too much on these webinars, bro. I blame Joe. I blame Joe. <laughs> we'll have to make a beeline out of here. <laughs> Guys, I think we're going to wrap up. If you guys have any questions, please text me at 213-458-5997. If you can't text me directly, maybe you're international, tbradley90 underscore trader. Uh, if you follow my stories, you can watch me golf almost every single day because my back is practically broken from so much golf uh, and too many girlfriends. But I'll tell you what, dude, we're going to get you set up in the club. Wait, why is your back broken because of women? I thought I could slide that in there really good. <laughs> Can we rewind that real fast? Well, no, from the golf, dude, from the golf. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, all right. yeah you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do, guys. You're going to text me. We're going to get you started in the club. If you want to go straight to annual, this <laughs> bow fuck off. I knew you were going to say some dumb shit. <laughs> Don't make me say it, Val. You got a sister? Don't make me say it. Dude, I got so, these knees, man. They're killing me. Knee pads, bro. Knee pads. So here's the thing, guys. Like I said before, Bow <laughs> interrupted. Um, text me if you want to go directly to annual or lifetime. I will throw you a promotion. I will work with you. Uh, we got some special cases out there. I know a lot of guys have been really struck by coronavirus. And while it's no laughing matter, dude, truly, uh, we're here for you even on, a, on almost the fiscal side of it, man. If you need a little bit of help uh, and you do want to know about that, just reach out to me, man. It's case by case, but I'll talk to you. We'll get you situated. Um, and everything that you're going to need at MIC, man, is right here. And these are all the members, man. You're going to really love being a part of the community. So throw me a line. Know that Governor Newsom is not following his own rules. So <laughs> I don't know what to say there. Sorry, Callie. And uh, guys, we'll see you next week, man. This was a lot of fun. Later, bro. Yo, catch you later, my man. Go watch some shits Creek, bro. Oh, I'm already done with it. Dude, no, no, no. no. <laughs> we got to start from season one, episode one, again. <laughs> again, yes. See you, buddy. Later. Later, guys. Later.